we go. All right, everybody, welcome to uh, the Crypto World Evolution uh, Overview. Uh, as I said earlier, we're going to run a quick five to 10 minute uh, presentation, just basic information you can get with the folks that invited you on to tonight's overview. Uh, and, and they'll get you more detailed information on the, on the things that we're covering. And then after this quick overview, we will run a little training uh, on the trading platform. So uh, a little bit about our company, just to kind of get into everything. Uh, obviously, most folks are, are pretty familiar uh, with, with Bitcoin, with cryptocurrency. Uh, our company, there's a lot of different ways to make Bitcoin. Obviously, people are mining it. People are buying and holding a lot of different cryptocurrencies. And then some people are trading cryptocurrencies. And uh, I've been doing this for, for about a year now, uh, dealing in mining, uh, dealing a little bit in trading, and a lot of companies in the crypto industry, uh, it, it, they're all fairly similar. Most of them that, that I know about around the world, we have to send our Bitcoin or send our money out to the company, then that company does the mining or they do the trading, and then that company gives us our profits and we've got to kind of cross our fingers and hopefully uh, you know the companies do right by us and, and honor their word and so that's pretty typical and a good friend of mine shared crypto world evolution with me about a month ago uh, this company has been in business in in Korea uh, Spain they kind of started throughout those two countries about six seven months ago um, and the the main difference that I saw with Crypto World Evolution and all these other companies within this arena is we don't send our money out to the company. We control our Bitcoin 100% of the time. And I'll go through that. Uh, obviously, during the training, I'll share that with you guys. But it's just a different uh, aspect of taking advantage of, of the cryptocurrency marketplace instead of sending our money to Dubai or to some company around the world and praying that they're doing the right things we control our funds 100% of the time and so with trading um, you know a lot of folks that deal with trading they say you know when to buy is fairly easy when to sell is difficult to be honest I'm not a trader I didn't know when to buy I still don't know when to buy and I certainly don't know when to sell so uh, I'm not a crypto trader so both of those were gonna be difficult for me and that's just kind of like you know I, I probably would never get involved in trading because of that point right there and what crypto world evolution CWE has done is created some trading products they've got hybrid products for folks that are really into trading and chart chart tracking and and they understand kind of the dynamics of the cryptocurrency trading world so the hybrids allow them to purchase set sale prices set stop losses and then the the robots the automatic trading bots will help that that trader with the selling and knowing when to hit peaks and knowing when to cover uh, for, for certain dips uh, the automatic trading products that they have are what I was more interested in because I don't know much about trading. So that, that automatic does the buying and the selling for the client, which I thought was pretty interesting. So with the automatic trading bots, they can perform hundreds of operations automatically. And, and CWE has a full programming team, uh, trading professionals that work around the clock pretty much, making sure they're updating all of the functions of the bots so they can react to the market within milliseconds. So these, these bots can react within milliseconds. And during the training, uh, the training coming up today, I'll share with you just how many trades they've, they've helped uh, with, with just my own account. I know daily their bots execute about 21,000 operations for our clients right now globally. So they, they react very quickly because this market can change very quickly, obviously. This is a little bit of a screenshot of kind of our, our trading center, which I'll take you guys into a live trading center. Um, here here shortly um, some of the bots that are in action right now we're dealing with Bitrix if you have a Bitrix account uh, you can get bots up and running right now um, Binance we also have an operation with Binance as well they did some uh, increased security encryption with the new API and they are actually working with our programmers uh, to, to have Binance as an option as well as Bitrix right now um, the compensation plan as I said I'm not going to go into details uh, just real briefly uh, we do have a referral program so if you're trading and you're getting some great results with the with the automatic trading bots or the hybrid bots and you decide hey I want to share this with my family members with my friends they'll pay you a direct commission a referral commission 
for introducing people that come in and purchase the software. Uh, if those folks start to refer people, they give you indirect commissions as well. Uh, they do have a binary compensation plan for folks with a networking background. You might understand that. If not, we can obviously get you more details, uh, like I said, on a more of an individual basis. Uh, positioning registration is kind of a uh, a unit level that deals with profit sharing. If you are good at referring a lot of people, they actually have 8% uh, of the profits of the entire company globally are shared uh, within the organization, which is nice. Uh, they have what's called a force matrix that deals with trading. Uh, so you can actually, if you introduce me to the company and I'm trading and making massive profits, you can make a percentage off of the profits that all of the people trading in the company are earning, which is pretty nice. Uh, and that comes in the form of those leadership bonuses as well as profit sharing. There's two packages that people can utilize to get started with our trading software. There's a 500, what we call PV, it's based on, our, on the US dollar pretty much. So a 500 US dollar package uh, that allows you to trade. Uh, it's mainly hybrids right now. They're upgrading that to also offer the automatic software. Uh, there's also a $2,000 package where you can trade the automatic software. Really the main difference between the two packages is the limits that you're allowed to trade with those trading bots. And so at the $500 package, you can trade up to $2,500 in your trading bots. At the $2,000 package, you can trade up to $10,000 US dollars in the trading packages. So those are the two memberships that uh, the CWE is offering. Um, from a compliance standpoint, the one thing you'll never hear from us is guaranteeing returns. Um, the bottom line is we can never guarantee returns because we're basing everything on the market and, and no one can really control the market, but we can look at the different targets and triggers and try and do our best. And that's what I love about these automatic trading bots. Uh, I want to get into some of the, the back end training here for you guys. And so I want to share a little bit more about the bots because that's really what attracted me to the company. And I actually went in and, and here's kind of how the bots look when you set them up. Um, and you can see certain bots that I set up here. And once again, there's no guarantees or anything on returns. Um, this bot was set up uh, around the fifth of the month and um, it's executed quite a few trades. So you can set up multiple bots. It'll trade up to 10,000 US dollars. Um, one bot, you could have it trade all 10,000 if you wanted to. Uh, you, could, you, you could have seven, eight bots like I do at around 0.1 Bitcoin each. So if I open this, you can see I've got this bot is trading up to 0.1 Bitcoin. And to give you some ideas, it'll trade these coins. The company will automatically pick a few coins. Um, there's about 15 it always picks right now, like Cardano, Bitcoin Cash, uh, the Binance coin will be chosen, Bitcoin Gold, Dash, Ethereum, uh, Ethereum Classic, um, Gas, Ethereum, IOTA. You can add coins as well. I actually added some NEO. I added Power. I added Salt, um, Stellar, Monero, Ripple uh, is already in there. Monero, Stellar is already in there. I, I, I definitely can add add some coins if I wanted to. If you say, hey, I've got a certain coin that I know is going to make a run, you can just scroll here and go, oh, I want to get Digibyte. You know, that I heard it's going to make a run. Once I click it in there, as you can see, Digibyte's rocking and rolling. It's up. My bots will start looking. Um, what the bots do basically is on each coin, I added Walton coin last night, they basically will look for 12 triggers. And the, their triggers, I, I don't have the exact triggers. There's nothing really proprietary about the triggers, so they don't share exactly what they look for. But I do know gen generally uh, what they're looking for is charts. Uh, they're looking at the pricing, pricing history. They're looking at pricing trends, uh, you know, future trends. Where does this coin look like it's headed? They're also tracking social media. How many people have just sent out a Twitter about Ethereum? How many people are YouTubing videos about Monero? How many people just Googled Ripple in the last hour? And so the, the bots are always looking for these altcoins and these triggers. And you can see the bots are running fairly slow. The last trade I was in was a couple days ago. Um, if you guys are trading or keeping your eye on crypto, uh, it's been very slow the last couple of days. And so the bots aren't really hitting a lot of triggers right now. Um, even on the Bittrex accounts uh, that are up and running, it's not really very aggressive because the market environment is kind of on a downswing a little bit. Um, I've, I've got some folks that are pretty 
heavy traders and they're looking over the next 24 to 48 hours, probably starting tomorrow for about 48 hours, uh, they see a fairly decent run coming. Uh, so these bots will probably start getting into action pretty soon. And as you look at some of the older trades, these bots are programmed to never take less than 1% profit. So if it's green and it's completed trade, that means it bought it and then it sold it. So here, you know, it bought on the 6th, it bought Litecoin. It sold the Litecoin, it made 10.10%. Now, there's about 150 to 170 US dollars in action on every single trade. So there was $150 at risk in essence here, $150 give or take on NEO, $150 on Bitcoin Cash, $150 on Bitcoin Gold, on, on uh, Stellar, on Ripple. So this bot, you know, over whatever, 10, 11 days, has executed 141 operations, buys, sells. Um, and as you can see, the older trades are all going to be closed out with profit pretty much for the most part. Um, some, of the, some of these trades that, that um, that are closer at 1%, some of them are at 4%, 5%, as you can see, it'll never go less than 1%. Now that doesn't guarantee every trade is gonna make 1%. As you can see, there's still gonna be open trades. The newer trades are gonna be in what we call the red. Automatically, trades go into the red because there's fees that the exchanges charge us, so they automatically go to the red. The market's pretty volatile. There's two real philosophies when it comes to the automatic trading. Uh, I've got one good friend that trades a lot and he goes, Tony, I never click the sell now button. I just let those reds stay because I know over the next few days or the next week that coin will rally and my bot will automatically sell it and turn those reds into a profit. And over the last 12 months, he's been right. Now that doesn't mean he'll be right forever, but obviously, you know, cryptocurrency has been up and down a lot, but mostly the trend over the last 12 months obviously has been on an upward swing with some dips here and there and then back up again. And so he says, listen, I never sell. I, I just let the bots sell. I wait until those prices rally and then it'll take it and complete it as a positive trade. That's one philosophy. I've got another friend uh, who does really well with the trading bots and he goes, listen, Tony, if I see a trade for a day, uh, two days, you know, something like this, I sell now because that's $150, $160, $170. So I lose $5 on that trade. No big deal. Look, I made, you know, $4 here, $6 here, $2 here, $5 here, $5 here, $3 here. So he's like, I've made so many wins. I'd rather just get that money out of there and get it winning again, get it winning again. Because if you look out of 141 operations, there's a lot of greens and not many reds. Now the bottom line, once again, that's not guaranteed. That doesn't happen all the time. But these bots are fairly aggressive when the market is moving in the right direction. It's gonna get wins in seconds. I've seen my bots, one time I triggered a bot on, it bought Ethereum within a second of turning the bot on and within two seconds later, it sold it. Bought it, sold it, made like 2.34% and it was moving on to the next altcoin. And so the beauty of these bots is they're in and out of trades extremely quickly. They can make decisions within milliseconds and they're gonna put you into altcoins. Now, if you pause a bot, so if you look at some of the older bots that you see, if you pause them, it will still sell for you so these bots are paused. So what that does basically is it gets me out of the altcoins. If you pause all your bots, it will start to move you back into Bitcoin. It will just continue to sell and it won't buy anymore. It won't buy anymore. And once again, you know, there's different strategies, different trends. Some people turn their bots on and then pause them after a few hours, after 10 trades, after 20 trades. I just kind of, to be honest, let them play. I put mine on here. I just let it go and it, it executed 141 entries. Now, not all bots work the same. Um, I have other bots over around the same time frame. Um, this bot here didn't kick very much. Uh, it completed a few trades, did four entries. That was it. There's, there's bots that make other decisions. They're all looking at all these coins and trying to make decisions 
within milliseconds. And so if one coin, one bot is executing a purchase on one coin and the other bot is selling, there might be a third bot that's triggering a new buy because it picked up a trigger. It picked up a target that it was looking for. This bot here, it's traded over uh, about the same time frame uh, from the fifth or so, 92 trades. So there's no real set you know, this bot's going to do this, this bot's going to do that. Every bot is a little bit different when you turn it on, depending on the first coin it picks up. How quick will that coin flip? Uh, will it go down? Actually, that's the highest return I've ever actually seen on, on one buy uh, was, that, was that right there, 17.76. And I don't stare at, I guess, every one of my bots. Um, but like I said, they all react differently. They all pick up targets differently. The key for me is the amount of trades they're in. And I'll, I'll kind of close up with this because it's kind of neat to see. Over about two weeks of trading, uh, I downloaded my trade history. And as you can see, these bots, as far as compared to a human, we just really can't keep up with them. Over about two weeks, you can see the buys and sells here. Th these bots in, all, in total, have executed for me over two weeks around 1,791 operations, buying and selling, buying and selling. And so not that there's no risk, but what that tells me is 1,700 trades, you know, in two weeks, it has spread out my risk, so to speak. If you're into real estate, and I have a real estate investment company myself, if you have one rental property and your renters don't pay rent, you still have to pay the mortgage on that property. Uh, you still have to pay the upkeep, the property tax. And so there is risk involved. Um, if you actually have a thousand rental properties, there's actually less risk involved because if one person doesn't pay their rent, I still have 999 other people paying rent. So there's more hedging, there's more risking. And so what I like about these bots is at one time in one trade, they're only risking about 150 US dollars. And for me to lose all 150 US dollars, like in a trade like this with Ethereum, Ethereum would have to go to zero, which I just don't believe that's going to happen. Now, it could. Uh, you know, half the world thinks Bitcoin's crazy and cryptocurrency is crazy. The other half the world thinks it's amazing. You know, people like Bill Gates, uh, Elon Musk. I mean, they think it's, the, it's better than currency. So I, I'm in the, in the same, I guess, room that those guys are in. I think it's amazing. But, you know, the bottom line is we could be wrong. Uh, so if Ethereum went to zero and it was a bad coin, I, I guess I would lose 150 maybe on here, 150 on here. But if IATA was kicking butt and doing great, I'd make money on all the IATA. So it does spread our risk out a little bit. It attacks. It does a lot of executions that a human being just flat out can't keep up with, guys. So that's kind of how I'll wrap up, uh, you know, the, the quick overview, a little bit of the back-end training. What I would like to do is I'll open it up for, you know, for a few minutes for some Q&A type stuff if folks have any questions uh, about the trading, uh, about the company. You know, the bottom line is, like I said at the start, um, this was just a brief overview. This was just to kind of give you kind of the bird's eye view. Get with whoever invited you on to this Zoom meeting this evening. I guess if you're in uh, certain parts of the world, uh, South Africa, uh, I guess early morning if you're in Asia and uh, here, here in the morning, uh, I guess, and, and uh, sometimes afternoon if you're on the East Coast here in the United States. So get with whoever invited you on. Let them know you're interested in really getting more information. And then we can definitely... Uh, you know, go through some more details, go through the compensation, share with you how simple it is to set up these bots and get them trading for you so you can take advantage of this cryptocurrency boom that's happening globally at the current time and place. Uh, we'll go ahead and stop the recording and look forward to doing some Q&A with you here real short.